Hello, welcome. This is Charles Folkhart on March 3rd, 2017. We're in Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. This verse has come to my mind, I can't tell you how many times. And uh, it's kept me on, on the right path. It's kept me from making mistakes many, many times. We often want to trust in ourselves. We want to trust in our own understanding. We want to go our own way. And I can't, you know, I, we, all, we all know that's what we do. But scripture here tells us trust in the Lord. To confide in Yahweh with all thine mind. No, no. With all thine heart. Many times our Christianity, our, our relationship with God is 18 inches from where it should be. It's in the intellect. It's in our mind. But here, it's the heart here means your inner being, your inner self, our, our, our heart, where where our real being is in our spirit it's that part of us that communicates and has a fellowship with Yahweh it's not part of our heart it's not a portion of it it's all of our heart and uh, lean not unto our own understanding how often we want to go our own way, we want to do our own thing, we want to do what we want to do, how, how our intellect, our intelligence indicates that this is the way we should go, and uh, that's a mistake, and lean and lean not unto thine own understanding. You know, oftentimes when things are going well, we lean on our, our own intellect, we lean on our own thoughts, we lean on our own understanding. But it's only when the waters get high and the, and the, the stream gets rough and begins to rush around us do we finally admit that we need to seek the lord's help and it's at those times that we do but uh, scripture here says to in all our ways acknowledge him and he shall direct our paths he will make plain our paths And let's look at another verse in Proverbs, Proverbs 28, 26. He that trusts in his own heart is a fool. And uh, don't we do a lot of things that we wish we hadn't done? So the scripture here is encouraging us to trust in the Lord with all of our heart. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And remember to embrace the love of the truth. And may the grace of God our Father, the creator of the heavens and the earth, may his grace be upon us all, for we certainly need it. See you.